You don't know me at all, I screamed and slammed that door. What the hell are you talking about, you damn fool? I gave birth to you, my mom yelled back. <laughs> Growing up, we never fought. But the few times we did, it was off the charts. I was furious. I grabbed a handful of money, I stomped out of the house, and I walked all the way to Pomida. <laughs> Once I got in that store, I headed right to Health and Beauty, and I snatched a home perm kit right off the shelf. <laughs> I was going to perm my hair for my senior photos, and no one was going to stop me. <laughs> Not even my mom, who said it was a terrible idea. Now, growing up in a small town, I was different. I stuck out like a sore thumb. Back in the fourth grade, my parents moved from Minneapolis to Little Falls, Minnesota, a small, conservative, rural farming community. My life was basically footloose. <laughs> Only we could dance, and I didn't look like Kevin Bacon. Now, I just did not fit in with my peers and my classmates. Every day walking through the halls of school, I was lost in a sea of mullets and Wrangler jeans. <laughs> Two different worlds colliding. They liked to smoke in woodshop class. I liked theater arts. They headbanged to ACDC. I vogued to Madonna. They wore cowboy boots. I had penny loafers. <laughs> so as I left Pomida, I called my friend Heidi from the payphone on the street corner, and I told her, I'm coming over, and I hung up. Now, Heidi was the queen of bad decisions. <laughs> Heidi loved to skip school, and she even failed gym class. And she was also dating a boy from Juvie. Heidi opened her door before I could even knock. She knew something big was about to happen, and she wanted in. So I threw that perm box on the table. She grabbed a towel. We were doing it. So we did the perm, and let me tell you this. It took hours. It was a nightmare. I almost lost an eye. Chemical was everywhere, my scalp was burning, we lost a couple of chunks of hair, but I knew it would be worth it because I figured I am changing my identity, I'm gonna be a new person. When I go to school, all the kids are gonna stare as I walk in, slow motion. <laughs> and they're gonna be thinking, wow, who's that new cool kid? And how can I be friends with him? <laughs> Sadly, it was just me getting high from the fumes from the perm. <sighs> so the next day, my mom and I drove over to the portrait studio uh, so I could have my senior photos taken. The silence in that car was deafening. As my mom was mute with seething rage, and I was smug with victory. <laughs> now prior to the perm, my hair was long, straight, and brown. I had an asymmetrical haircut, which was where one end is a lot longer than the other end, and it flipped over to the left. It was very Flock of Seagulls, 1980s. So once I permed it, the length of my hair caused these giant ringlets that bounced like crazy every time I took a step or snapped my neck. 
my hair had so much drama, Beyonce would be jealous. <laughs> so once uh, we were in uh, the portrait studio, I took a can of mousse, I flipped off the cap, made the giant mound of foam, worked it into my hair, and it was frozen in time. <laughs> a few minutes later, it was frozen in eternity as the flash bulb and my senior photo was taken. My mom hung the photo up in our living room and displayed it prominently. She never missed an opportunity to tell anyone who came over to the house, oh, have you seen Jason's senior photo? <laughs> Why, yes, it is a perm. It is, uh-huh, yeah, I told him not to, but no one listens to mom, right, Jason? Which I always responded with, okay, okay, listen, it was popular at the time. But the sad reality was the perm was never popular and I was never popular. Uh, one day I finally admitted to my mom, I go, I get it, mom, it was a mistake. Can we just take the photo down? And she looked at me and she said, oh, honey, we all make mistakes. That's how we figure out who we are in life. Unfortunately, though, sometimes mistakes live in a frame on the living room wall forever. <laughs> 14 years ago, my mom unfortunately lost her battle with cancer. And we had to go into uh, my stepdad's house and pack everything up. And I finally got to take my senior photo off of the wall and pack it away. In those 14 years, a lot of life has been lived. I've had 14 years of mistakes, I've had 14 years of victories. I've had 14 years to miss my mom and wish that I could talk to her one more time. I've also had 14 years to come to terms with the past. And now 14 years later, I think I'm ready to take that photo out of the box and put it back up on the wall. Thank you.